Bienvenidos a este canal, lo invito a suscribirse y activar la campana de notificaciones. Zelensky, convencido de que ganará el conflicto a Rusia, pone sus esperanzas en los F-16 occidentales. Recuerde dejar un comentario en este video, estaremos al tanto de sus argumentos frente a esta información. Dinamarca, junto con los Países Bajos, se ha comprometido a proporcionar aviones estadounidenses F-16 a Ucrania. Ucrania está convencida de que va a ganar el conflicto a Rusia. Ese fue el punto principal del discurso de Zelensky ante el parlamento danés. Ayer el presidente de Ucrania destacó la importancia del apoyo internacional para lograr la victoria. Queridos amigos, hoy estamos seguros de que Rusia perderá este conflicto, pero esto no es lo más importante. Lo principal es lo que demostramos con nuestra victoria con nuestra cooperación, lo que demostráis apoyando a Ucrania. Juntos demostramos que la vida es un valor, así agrega Zelensky. Ucrania cifra sus esperanzas en los F-16. Dinamarca, junto con los Países Bajos, se ha comprometido a proporcionar aviones estadounidenses a Ucrania. Rusia ha advertido a los países occidentales contra este apoyo, alegando que podría considerar estos aviones una advertencia nuclear, ya que son capaces de transportar armas nucleares. ¿Qué opina de esta información? Nuevamente los invito a suscribirse. Gracias por estar acá. Noticias al día. Ukraine wants to add F-16 fighter jets to its fleet of aircraft, but it's looking at other options too. One of them seems to be the Swedish Gripen fighter, similar to these. President Zelensky says he spoke about them with Sweden's prime minister during a visit to that country on Saturday. Zelensky also says the two nations will follow up on those talks in the coming weeks. Nada Bashir is monitoring developments in Ukraine. She joins us now from London. So Nada, let's start with the latest on the attack on Chernyiv. Yeah, well, we've had those troubling updates from the Ukrainian authorities. As you mentioned, there came at least 148 people reportedly injured following that attack on Saturday and among them 15 children wounded and seven confirmed dead. And of course, this has left a huge amount of infrastructural damage. According to the Ukrainian authorities, this missile attack took place at around 11.30 a.m. local time yesterday. It actually took place on a day which marks a major orthodox holiday in Ukraine. And we've heard from the country's minister for internal affairs saying that people were leaving church as they were struck by these missiles which targeted a key square in the city. Take a listen to one eyewitness account from yesterday. There were screams, a lot of dead and wounded, ambulances. It's horrible. I'm helping now to clean up. It's a real tragedy. I was in a shop right next to the square, near a bus stop. I entered the shop, went up to a window, and that whole window fell on me. I fell. I was in shock. Then I gained my consciousness back. I was knocked down by the explosion force. Now, in addition to striking that town square, it also uh, struck more than 60 residential buildings, according to Ukrainian authorities, as well as a university building and a theater. And in fact, it is in this theater that, according to the authorities, a drone demonstration meeting, a closed meeting, had been set to take place with members of the Ukrainian armed forces, as well as drone manufacturers in Ukraine present. And there have been calls from the Minister for Internal Affairs for an investigation into this, what they believe to be a targeted strike on this theater. And of course, this comes as the Ukrainian authorities, and in particular President Zelensky, continue to push for further military support from their international partners, not least, of course, uh, from their counterparts in Sweden. We saw President Zelensky uh, meeting with his Swedish counterparts. They discussed a boost in military support, a new military aid package, and also mentioned that Ukrainian pilots are already carrying out test flights on those Swedish-made Gripen jets. That will be a significant boost to Ukraine's uh, counteroffensive. And of course, they've also now begun looking into further support on the terms of uh, artillery, further artillery support, as well as training uh, Ukrainian troops to operate uh, Swedish-made uh, armored vehicles, which are set to be uh, sent to Ukraine. They have signed now a statement of intent on that agreement. That is going to be a huge boost for their counteroffensive. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Not a sheer appreciate it. Russia is reporting two new drone strikes from across the border in Ukraine. The mayor of Moscow says one drone was shot down south of the capital overnight, while another alleged drone wounded five people in the city of Kursk. 
according to a local governor. He says the attack damaged a railway station, but train service is still up and running. Meanwhile, Ukraine now says 15 children are among the wounded following the Russian missile strike on the city of Chernihiv. At least seven people were killed and close to 150 others injured after a missile hit the city center on Saturday. Well, over in Kyiv, top military officials say Ukrainian pilots have started training on F-16 fighter jets. But who will provide the planes and when are still open questions. Well, for more on these, this latest development, Neda Bashir joins us now live from London. Neda, Ukraine did receive potentially more good news related to the F-16s? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Leila, we saw some delay on that front. There are questions around the time frame of when we would begin to see Ukrainian pilots receiving that crucial training on the U.S. main jets. Now, according to Ukraine's Air Force, that training has begun. They are receiving training from U.S. instructors within Ukraine. And of course, typically, this sort of training on these advanced jets would take months. According to Ukrainian officials, typically it would take something around 32 months. But they say this elite class of Ukrainian pilots set to take part in this training program can master the operation of this jet within just four months. Now, we've also heard from Ukraine's defense minister. He's given a slightly longer assessment, saying it could take a minimum of six months. And of course, that will be a blow to Ukraine's air defense and military aspirations over the coming months, particularly in the harsher winter months as they continue to grind on with that counteroffensive. But this training will prove crucial. And the hope from Ukraine is that the supply of these jets will mark a shift in their counteroffensive give them that all-important edge in the skies. And of course, there still remain a couple of questions. We've heard from the Ukrainian defense minister saying that it remains to be decided what weapons these jets will be kitted out with once they are supplied to Ukraine. We know, of course, that the U.S. has expressed its commitment to approve the supply of these jets as soon as that training is complete. And of course, there are still talks ongoing between the U.S. and its European partners over what other countries might potentially supply Ukraine with these U.S.-made F-16s. But of of course, we also now know that President Zelensky has been in talks with counterparts in Sweden over the possible supply of the Swedish-made uh, Gripen fighter jet. That is expected to be an ongoing discussion. The hope there is that will bolster Ukraine's uh, air defense operations and also, of course, offensive operations as they continue to battle uh, Russia's ongoing encroachment in the eastern region. Meanwhile, uh, those talks are ongoing, but Ukraine and Sweden appear to have agreed on a statement of intent on the supply of Swedish-made armored vehicles to boost Ukraine's counteroffensive capabilities on the front line. Major, so uh, let's Morning. talk about, you know, this, this new reporting uh, from our Katie Bolillis uh, that American officials are concerned about the strategy in Ukraine uh, where they're focusing their, this emphasis on, on Crimea. And we're learning that, um, you know, of course, some American officials are not happy about it. What are your thoughts on this strategically? Yeah, I think Katie Bowe's uh, reporting is spot on. It's a little bit critical to say that it might stall, that it might not be successful. That's that's a, a truthful assessment, or at least there's an element of truth within that, and there's some concern. The thing that the Ukrainians are doing right now is they are expending intellectual firepower and they're spending expending firepower on on objectives that are not directly attributing Si no te quieres perder de los últimos acontecimientos que pasan en el mundo, suscríbete y activa la campana. Somos Noticias al Día.